A new attend tonight, an 84 year old is recovering after he was robbed of his gold jewelry yesterday while out for a morning walk in Fremont and police say he's just one of four victims of similar crimes in the past two weeks. KTV's Asnath Smith joins us now live and Asnath, you're learning it's happening all over Fremont. Yes, the detective told me it is sporadic, unclear if it is the same suspects in all four cases. One thing they have in common, the thieves only stole gold jewelry. And the 84-year-old victim tells me he was approached by a group asking for directions. This chain they wanted to remove. I caught it. Padma Nabha Kodareddy is describing a terrifying theft when a man in an SUV approached him for directions, pulled down his window, grabbed his necklace, and drove off, dragging him. I'm moving and hanging on the, on the door. The car was running, really. The 84-year-old says it happened just after 10 Wednesday morning. He was returning home from a walk in Fremont's Mission San Jose neighborhood. The driver asked him to look at a map on his phone. Meanwhile, he caught my jacket collar and pulled me. Help me, help me, I told, but nobody was helping. He says it happened in less than a minute. His ribs now hurt. He showed us scrapes on his hand. We have come here almost 21 years ago to this house and have not heard anything this sort of thing happen. Fremont police say similar robberies happened on May 21st. Thieves stole from a 96-year-old on Candace and Ursa Drive, a 79-year-old on Jamestown Road. Last Wednesday, a 48-year-old was robbed on McKay Street and then Coda Reddy's theft on Olive Avenue. One of our victims was in front of their home doing some stuff with their vehicle when they were approached. Fremont police say thefts are happening between 1030 and 1230 during the day. The suspects are also luring people by claiming it's their birthday. Oh, you know, it's my birthday, but I want to give a gift to you. Um, and then brought out some costume jewelry and then kind of started getting closer to the victims where then they were able to swap out um, with the, the victim's actual real jewelry. Quite uh, unnerving to hear that uh, there's incidents like this happening. All four victims were alone. Kodorati says he concealed his jewelry, his family warning others to keep their distance from people you don't know. They say two children were in the suspect's car. You assume that it's a family and that indeed, you know, genuinely needed some help. Um, but if you cannot even trust that, you know, who you can really trust. And police say the descriptions of the suspects vary. They're asking the community for any home surveillance video so they can try and identify the suspects. Heather? Yeah, so be wary of these ruse related crimes. Thanks so much, Asnath. Appreciate it. Well, now we go.